Oh, hey, there's <laughs> Officer Jenny and the Squirtle. I just caught a Squirtle that was always getting into mischief. I think it needs a good trainer to set it straight. Wow, you caught 70 Pokemon. You must be a great trainer. I have a favor to ask you. Would you take care of this troublesome Squirtle? Sure, why not? Okay, please take care of... Er, yeah, please take good care of Squirtle. Yay, we got it. Got a Squirtle. Uh... Reasonably large. Cool. Okay, so it gets Crunch at level 39. That's not too necessary. Okay, heal me up. I wonder if this heals all the Pokemon in your box as well. Because otherwise it'd be really annoying if, you know, you put something away and it's like, oh, I forgot to heal you. Okay, uh, hello. Whoa, Logan and Mally subscribing with a tier three sub. Holy smokes. Been a subscriber now for 17 months in a row. Thank you so much for the 17 months of big service and support. I really do appreciate that. That is awesome. Thank, thank you so much. Uh, higher level Pokemon are stronger, but all Pokemon have weaknesses too, based on their types. Basically, you're gonna have a hard time finding one all-powerful Pokemon. Yeah, I'm not. She's on my shoulder right now. Hello? Uh, yes, Big Pharma. The types and stuff are based on Gen 7. So, things like Clefairy and Clefable, they are part fairy type. Uh, you know, moves, they have their new types and stuff. So yeah, it's definitely been changed from just the pure original. Uh, if you're new to training Pokemon, you should give my place a little visit. It's an empty house, but I've rented it so people can use it as a place to gather and share tips. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot to check the uh, daycare. I was gonna do that. There's also this item over here. A oh, paralyzed heal. It seems like there's a lot of just really underwhelming items on the ground. I mean, not everything has to be amazing, but, you know. Oh, let's see. Oh, it's Growlithe. Hey. Wow, that was a terrible shot. Didn't really matter, but, you know. Just thought I would, uh, give a reverse compliment to myself. That wasn't three shakes. That's what I love about this game. I can do it all with one hand, so I can just like reach over, have my water, not even worry about it. It's great. Alright, so we got another Growlithe. Yeah, I wouldn't worry too much, Keen, about having a Pikachu with a sassy nature. I think that actually is better. <laughs> just, it's more fun that way. It's like, oh yeah, your Pikachu's sassy. So strong. Uh, hello. If the Pokemon you're walking with suddenly stops as if it's surprised, that it means it's found an item for you. Oh, I see. I'm on guard duty, and I take my duty very seriously, but gee, am I ever thirsty! I wish I had some tea to drink. Oh, hold on there, kid. I'm afraid I can't let you pass through here. Well, gee, okay. All right, I wanna go back to the daycare. I wanna see what that's all about. Ooh, another Alolan trade, nice. Someone call Hydrated Bot for this guy, right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There, look at that. The tail's wagging. <laughs> A repel. Oh, okay. I think it's a lot easier to see when you're running this way. Okay. Oh. I can just walk right up here. So what is this place all about? Let's see. Hey there, the name's Mr. Hyper. <laughs> He's at his coffee. Uh, listen closely now, my young friend. If you ever achieve the title of champion, be sure to come back here and see me. I'll be waiting. Oh, what? There's no hype there today. Daycare lady. Alright, um... So what does this do? 
I just put a Pokemon in here. I'm gonna guess it's just one. Who do I want to leave here? All right, let's put this Growlithe away. Uh, let's see. So maybe I should put someone in here. I could put the Squirtle in there. I'll put this Bulbasaur. I don't need this Bulbasaur. I feel like it was kind of abandoned anyway. All right, let's drop off this Bulbasaur. <laughs> He's like, why did you leave me here? Uh, yeah, I did get a little in Ratata. Yeah, that's the Bulbasaur I got from the lady. All right, where's my new dog? It was you, right? Wait, what nature do you have? Uh, quiet. Nah. Eh. I think we'll go with you. Yeah, that's a very good point, Gold Member PB. Without held items, oh man. Breeding really would stink. No Destiny Knot. No, uh... Oh, what's the other thing? Uh, Everstone. For natures, ugh. <laughs> this is really cute. I just love it. He's just, like, chasing me. I wonder how you get good natures in this game. Cause that would kind of stink if you're, like... Trying to get some. I wonder if maybe you have to lead with the Pokemon with Synchronize. <laughs> Look at those Jigglypuff. They're walking perfectly in sync with each other. Man, there's so many Pokemon I want here. Yeah. Oh, wow. I actually got it. Nice. Oh, there's a nature lady that influences natures. That's nice. Oh, yeah, no synchronize. You know what? I was realizing it the other day. Uh, I think I must have said at one point that, oh, you know, this Ivysaur or Bulbasaur or whatever I was fighting at the time. You know, I'm, I was worried that it had uh, overgrow and was going to do more damage. It's like, no, <laughs> I don't have to worry about that at all. No abilities. It's just so weird. I'm trying to get used to this game without it. Okay, anyway, now let's explore Vermilion City. So apparently there's a trade in here. Probably this guy. Hello there, son! How would you like to trade your Geodude for my Geodude? Alright, sure. Uh... I guess we'll trade the smaller one. Cool, here we go. Dude, your Geodude looks all messed up. It's got, like, things on its head. Oh, it's kind of big. Nice. Haha, <laughs> surprised, aren't you? My Geodude is from Alola. If you bring me more Cantonian Geodude, I'll be happy to trade with you anytime. Oh, that's cool. So it's like a reusable trade. That's kind of neat. It really stink of his only one. Oh, yeah, I talked to you. So I just completely skipped talking to the other one. Wow, I kind of want to use an Alolan Geodude. That could be kind of neat. Like, it doesn't have an ability, but it would be cool. Although, I don't need an electric type. So, yeah, let's not do that. I fed a Nanon Berry to a wild Pokemon, and it seemed to calm the Pokemon down. It stopped jumping around, so I was able to aim with my Pokeballs more easily. I probably should have done that than just complain about things all day. You know, you have a better chance of catching a Pokemon with a Great Ball than with a Pokeball. Even then, it's not a guaranteed catch, of course. 
Aim for the center when the ring is small. I hear that's a trick when throwing Pokeballs. Okay. When the ring's color is green, that means that Pokemon's easy to catch, right? When it's yellow, it's a bit harder, but when it's red, it becomes super hard. Oh. I guess those are some interesting uh, tips, sort of. Not exactly the best use of my time, but oh well. Still working on this place here. Except they downgraded him a chop. Man, this economy. This is my land, all of it! I own everything in this square area here! I'm having my Pokemon use Bulldoze to prepare the site so I can build something here. And he never does. I get so sweaty after doing sports that I end up feeling all grimy. Sports! Speaking of which, you know Grimer, it's born from ocean sludge, not sweat, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> which Pokemon do you prefer, the puppy Pokemon Growlithe or the scratch cat Pokemon Meowth? Oh, that's tough, but honestly, I prefer Meowth. Oh, you didn't have to answer. I knew the answer. Sorry, it's a stupid question. If you catch five of the puppy Pokemon Growlithe, I'll give you a great Pokemon. You can ride on its back. But I thought I just said I like the other better. Oh, well, it's fine. Wait, so five. I have four. Let's go get one. Or maybe three. I think it's four, though. Rowlith, where are you? Where are you? Jeez, there's, like, nothing out today. There were Pokemon, like, all over the place a moment ago. And now they're gone. Nothing but rats remain in this place. There's Fire Doggo. I'm trying to bite that guy. Okay. Whoa, what was that? Alright, I got Growlithe. Okay, so I think we'll be all right with this current number. If I see another one on the way, I'll... Well, okay, we didn't find it, but that's fine. Okay, where was that guy? He was on that bench. See, benches are good. Oh, you caught five puppy Pokemon. Let's promise, take this great Pokemon. Oh, a Persian. Ooh, that's cool. Big cat! <laughs> What's up with its neck? It just looks kind of weird. The gem in its forehead glows on its own. It walks with all the grace and elegance of a proud queen. All right. When the cute scratch cat Pokemon Meowth evolves, it'll look like this. Woo, it's as cute as ever. Persian's the best. Hmm? Why did I make you catch puppy Pokemon and then give you a scratch cat Pokemon? Because I wanted to see if your preference would stay the same. Even after seeing so many Growlithe, whoa. This guy. Oh, look at Pikachu. She's waving her tail. What? How do I uh, get back there, huh? Can I walk behind this house? I need to get there in the water. Aw, oh, man. I guess I could get there that way. Some Pokemon don't just want to walk with you. Some would rather give their trainer a ride. I bet it'd be pretty great to take a ride with a Pokemon that could swim across the water or fly through the air. Corp, corp, corp. Okay, I want to see this uh, Persian in action. Let's get rid of this uh, Butterfree for right now. Oh, whoops. We gotta open up the box! Level 16 Persian. Okay. Bye-bye, Butterfree! Can I rename Persian? I can. Alright, let's take you out of the Pokeball. Whoa! I'm riding on a cat! I'm riding on a cat! Whoa! Big cat, y'all better watch out. I got my big cat running through here. Y'all got nothing on my big cat. I'm guessing you could probably get Arcanine if you chose the other. 
Oh, well, that's fine. I have a Growlithe. I can get an Arcanine anytime I want. Well, anytime after getting to Celadon City, I'm guessing. I got a big cat! Whoa, it's a big bird! Pidgeotto, all right. Did you see that masterful throw? Oh, you get Arcanine and let's go Pikachu. Or let's go Eevee. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, so it didn't matter what I said. That's nice to know. Whoops, that was a terrible shot. Okay, so I get Persian no matter what. All right, I feel better now. I feel better now. Cool, so I got a Pidgeotto. Growlithe wants to learn Flamethrower? At level 17? Whoa, what is this all about? Growlithe actually learning moves at a timely point in its life. That is incredible. I'm gonna keep uh, Ember just because people seem to really find it amusing. All right, I got the big bird here. Well, actually, it's not so big. This Pokemon is full of vitality. It constantly flies around its large territory in search of prey. Man. Flamethrower already. What else do I even wait for? Oh, there's another Pidgeotto. Hello. I like a challenge. Man, that is so much better than I thought with Growlithe. That's just insane. Because that has always been Growlithe's problem. Is it, you know, you have to choose between good moves and big dog. <laughs> like, yeah. Ooh, four foot on this bird. 81 pounds. That's a really heavy bird. I love riding around on this big cat. Well, I don't know if I want to keep the big cat with me. Let's see. What do you have for, like, stats? Quiet nature. I mean, it's good that you're a well-behaved cat. Oh, you have payday. That's pretty good. I should probably keep you just for that. But I do want Butterfree. Oh, problems, man. Oh, well, uh, we'll just keep this cat around for right now. Farfetch'd! Oh, it's ducks. Hey, buddy. I'm particularly fond of bird Pokemon. Me and my partner ducks here are going to go catch a Spearow soon. Well, good for you. I guess he's not interested in trading ducks anymore. But it's nice to have a little throwback. All right, what do we have in here? This is the Pokemon fan club, right? Looks like they downsize a little bit. Oh, the seal is so cute. It's just in this little bed. I want a seal. That's what I want for my water type. I just adore my seal. It's so lovable. It squeals cute when I hug it. Aww. Would you look at my Pikachu's adorable tail? No, look at mine. It's even better. I got you. Hi. Aw, look at these. I want these. Okay, let's talk to the lady over here. Our chairman is very outspoken when it comes to his opinions about Pokemon. I'm the chairman of the Pokemon fan club. I raise more than 100 Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. I surely am. So, did you come to visit to hear about my Pokemon? Yes. Oh, you see, my favorite Pokemon, Rapidash, is the cutest. It's so cute and lovely and smart, it's almost too much to take. Plus, it's really amazing when you stop to look at it, don't you think so? Oh, yes, its looks are so stunning and its heart is so kind. You can't help but love it. And when you hug it tight when it's sleeping, it's so warm and cuddly. Plus, it looks spectacular, of course. Oh, and it's simply ravishing when... Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. Oh, a Pikachu set. What's that? Oh, clothes. It's a costume set that you can use to dress up like your partner Pokemon. You can change via the bag option in the main menu. Nice. Uh, all right. Let's do that. I think what I should do, I should wear that. And... Wait, do you have the set as well, or is it just for me? Oh, it's just for me! Nice! Oh, I guess there's a switch to Maryland option. Okay, Pikachu cap. There we go. 
outerwear. Oh, this is sick. There's actually clothes in this game. Thank goodness. All right, this might be a little overboard, though. But you know what? No half measures, okay? There we go. Oh, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> okay, anyway. Okay, talk to that guy. I should probably stock up on items now. Oh, hello. There are wicked people out there who use Pokemon to do awful things. Stealing other Pokemon, selling them for ridiculously high prices. You want to know where all these bad folks all gather? Team Rocket, that's where. I think Pokemon can be good or bad. It depends on the trainer. Oh, that was good advice there. All right, I have some items I need to sell, right? I have like a nugget. I have, or I have two nuggets. I got this big pearl. Uh, let's see, let's sell these. Kinda nice not having to buy clothes in this game. Oops. All right, I'm here to buy. Uh, so I can get lures now. They're 400 Poké Dollars each. That's kind of a little pricey. But at least I can buy them. Uh, how am I doing on normal Pokeballs? Let's buy like 40 of these. Oh, I got a lot of Great Balls all of a sudden. That's kind of weird. Okay, I guess I'll buy some uh, lures. We can use those. Okay, there we go. Oh, you know what? I don't actually know what moves my, uh, my Persian can learn. Payday, of course. Headbutt, that seems like a good idea. This is a stab. Uh, Bakeout's fun. Let's get rid of that. How does the game feel? Uh, interesting, kinda. Oh, it makes sense that you can't learn Scald. Dig would be good, though. I don't feel like it. I think I'd rather have whatever, whatever dark type move you have. Man, Thief is going to be a really useful move in this game, right? <laughs> oh, man. All right, hello. The thing, or this thing here isn't for resting your feet on, you know. It's for tying up your boat. Oh, okay. Where did I found Growlithe to catch? Uh, all over the place. I feel like Route 5, Route 6, but I think it might be version exclusive to Pikachu. I'm getting my Pidgey to fly a letter to Saffron City in the north. Well, good for you. Uh, Twee, I haven't beaten the game yet, so I can't quite tell you if it's worth getting. But switches are very worth getting, so I would recommend getting one regardless. Gee, I wish I could take a trip aboard the SS Anne someday. I could make new friends all over the world. Woo! <laughs> also, I really like how your uh, potted plant over there looks like an Oddish. It's really funny. Alright, Big Cat! I want to name him Big Cat. I think I'm going to do that. Okay. Uh, only downside is it is a pain entering nicknames in this game. That's why I don't have a lot of my Pokemon nicknamed, because A, you don't nickname them as soon as you catch them, so I often forget. And then B, doing all of this with this thing is, like, really bad. Or even with a single Joy-Con, because you have to hold it vertically. So it's just really not good. But you are worthy. I shall call you the big cat. No, no, no. See, I hate this. Big cat. I almost did big car, which would have been funny. All right, we got the big cat. Uh, 
Yeah, I went in this house. Where am I going? Where am I going? I just want to make sure I explore everywhere, all right? Because if I do end up writing a walkthrough series, of course, I want to have footage for all this stuff. The SS Anne is a famous luxury cruise ship. It visits Vermilion Point Port just once a year. Oh, I see. Hello. Welcome to the SS Anne, but not so fast. Do you have a ticket, young fellow? You flash your SS ticket at the man. Yep, that'll do. Welcome aboard. Oh, and that's not all. You're the one hundredth guest to join us aboard the SS Anne today. So here you go. Please enjoy this breezy outfit as you feel the salty air on your skin. Oh, a sailor said. Hey. Nice. Can I dress up my Pikachu to look like a sailor? Uh, yes! She is the one. Sailor Chew! <laughs> oh, yes, there we go. Alright, so there's gotta be a lot of Pokemon over here, right? There's a notice posted by the Vermilion Police. A sleeping Pokemon has been blocking the way on Route 12 lately. Detour through the Rock Tunnel if you need to reach Lavender Town. Oh, there's the Diglett's Cave, though. Alright, what kind of cool Pokemon can we find here? Super Potion. Hmm. Not exactly the cool Pokemon I had in mind. Alright, I want to fight this coach guy. Don't you like Route 11? The double ones in its name are so cool. And guess what? I'm the coach trainer on Route Double One. I'm a coach trainer. Think you can take me on? I won't hold back. Yeah! Alright, let's do this. Coach me, buddy. Coach trainer will. A Rattata. Ah! <laughs> Look at her in the sailor outfit. That's great. Uh, I feel like Zippy Zap is still gonna hit harder. Oh. Wow, must be great to be so lucky all the time, buddy. Yeah, I guess it did about the same. But, since Double Kick can get a critical hit... I mean, Zippy Zap always does, so like, you factor that into its damage. Whereas Double Kick, if it gets a crit, it does the extra damage. Alright, well there we go. You're strong! I know. Uh, let's see. You're strong! You got me in a good mood to so take these. Oh, five Pikachu candies. If you use a Pikachu candy, Pikachu will get much stronger. If you want to get candy for a specific Pokemon, try catching that species over and over, or send them to the professor. Really? Okay. So, with this Pikachu candy... No, no, no. Although I do kind of want to see how I look in the uh, sailor outfit. I know I just changed clothes, but... Blue hat, that's a really good looking blue hat. Oh, now these are my colors. These are definitely my colors. Other than those shoes, those look really bad. Sailor bag. Okay, I, I can shake this and it doesn't do anything to turn, so. Alright, there we go. Alright. Candy jar. So we got this... Oh, increase all stats by one. Oh, so that's for level 30 or higher. Interesting. Alright, let's use it. Wow, it just straight up works. Okay. Sure, why not? Plus five to everything, all right. That's pretty strong. Oh, I should use a lure while I'm over here. Although I feel like I'm gonna be fighting against some trainers. Oh, it's another big bird. Oh, it's drowsy. 
Oh, there's a lot of drowsy over here. <laughs> there's a ton of them. What the heck? Why are there so many of these things? All right, let's catch this drowsy. Courage candy. <laughs> what kind of a name is that? All right, if you sleep by it all the time, it will sometimes show you dreams that it had eaten in the past. Oh, that's interesting. Courage candy. Uh, big bird. I probably should fight the big bird. Ooh, lure. Well, I kind of want to fight some of the trainers here. Oh, there's a big bird. Let's fight the big, big bird. It's huge! See, that was so much better. This thing works way better than the Joy-Cons. If you have to throw things in a direction. Generally. Generally. Although it's kind of weird to have to spend $40 on a glorified controller. But, oh well. Apparently this works really nicely with Pokemon Go, though. Like, it'll auto-spin Pokestops or something for you, which is kind of handy. And you can, like, put a Pokemon in there to take with you? Whoa! Four foot six! That thing is almost one foot larger than the other bird, and it's, like, 82. Or larger than average, rather. Alright, I just want to get more Pokemon around here. Alright, come on. There we go. Can you imagine a four-foot bird flying right at you, though? Yeah, that'd be pretty extreme. Uh, Nina Arena wants to learn Toxic. Ooh. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, ooh. I mean, do I really need that, though? Like, it'd be good later on, but I'll probably have the TM for it by then. Uh, I guess I'll get rid of Bite. It's not like I really want to use you against Psychic types anyway. So, we'll just get rid of that. Just doesn't have as much application, you know? Alright, uh, yeah, you're... Not any larger or any smaller than other birds I have. Oh, right, this guy. Hey, do you always turn off lights? No. I don't. Bernie. But I at least use LED lights. I just hate having, uh, you know, lights completely off in my house when I go to bed. So I leave, like, two on. But, like I said, they're LED. So they're pretty energy efficient. And it's probably less energy than, you know, having, like, some big complex security system. Which I do have. Well, I don't have, like, a complex security system yet. I want to get one at some point. But I have, like, uh, you know, like, webcam things. Amazon's cloud cams that are pretty cool. Uh, alright. Let's... I want to switch out. I guess we'll send out Nina Arena here. Run away! Alright, let's go for that dig. Yeah, I'd rather not know the rare encounters if at all possible. At least for right now, like, it kind of takes away some of the fun of discovering it. Like, I'm not going to get super angry, but, like, if I had a choice. Uh, no, you can't evolve your starter in this game. But you can catch other Pokemon. 
All right, let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to do this yet. I'm not ready. What I want to do, I want to go back and heal. Big cat! This thing's so big. Okay. Heal me up. Let's go. Oh, I love this blue. Like, we look so good now. I don't think I need to even do anything as far as my overall looks goes. Like, I could just wear this all day. Blue and white is just so good. Uh, let's see. So now we can go back and fight some things. Uh, another big bird. How many of these big birds do I want? Like, I guess if I turn them into candy. Wow, there's a lot of them. They give good experience too, right? Uh, I want to fight some people. Let's try out this flamethrower. Hello, do you use electricity safely at home? Jeez, these electrician dudes are all like up in my business about stuff. Do you leave the lights on? Do you have, or do you employ safe electricity or whatever? Like, really, dude? Get off my case. All right, let's melt this thing with some flamethrower. Oh, it's level 18. Wow, they're actually catching up. Light screen! No, don't do that! Oh, that's sad. Well, I guess we're going back for Nina Arena again. No, my refrigerator is not running. It's stationary. Oh, man. Sonic, boom. Go! Oh. You're gone now, though. Oh, get out of here. There we go. Not even a problem. You're great, you beat me. Wow, look at his face. This guy. This guy. All right, uh, let's see. See, I feel like I always have to be on the lookout for shiny Pokemon. Because they're a lot harder to, to find, I think. I'm gonna guess they have some kind of a glitter, but I haven't seen one. Win, lose, or draw! Are we gonna fight against the gamer? It's Gamer Hugo! He likes to play dice games! Oh no, not Diglett. Well, at least I don't have to worry about Arena Trap. That's kind of nice. Level 26? Excuse me? Why is that thing such a high level? Wow. This guy really does like to gamble. Fissure. Oh, that makes sense. Wow, this is bad. He is gambling. Oh, this is bad. Hey, what's up, Nuzlockers? Fight this guy. <laughs> that is a great, great animation. Oh my gosh. Uh, we need the power of the big cat here. Because I can just fake this thing out. That was really funny. Didn't go my way. What are you talking about, dude? Oh, jeez, that freaked me out for a moment. A super repel. 
Because I really want to repel Pokemon in this game. Alright, I'm too cheap to use a revive. I need to go heal. Right on, I'm a big cat. Right on, I'm a big cat. I love this thing. <laughs> it's just so good. Oh, man. He actually helped. Like, that Diglett's pretty fast, so... Having to, uh... Having to work around that was kind of a pain. Doot, 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 doot. Yeah, that's why that Diglett was so strong, because I don't think they changed... 1 KO moves. I think that you still have to be at a higher or equal level for them to work, so... That's probably why I was level 26. Because if it were weaker, then it would have absolutely no point. Walk towards me slowly. I have never won before. Well, it's not gonna change now. Wilco. <laughs> oh, Vulpix! Oh, hey! I have a Growlithe. He's just been trying so hard to use Flamethrower. Oh, I have Takedown. Wow. Nice. All right, uh... Mm. I'm depending on you for everything, Nidorina. Oh, that's interesting, Shiny Misty. You're saying that Horn Drill hit you even though uh, the level difference, you had a higher level? That's interesting, maybe they changed that. What TMs are different so far? Like, everything, I feel. Like, there's Payday in a TM. It's so weird how there's, like, very little point to actually fighting trainers. Whoa, Mr. Mime! Hey, I want to get this thing. Uh, hi. Uh, all right. Let's use a raspberry. Oh boy, he bouncing. All right. Switch to these great balls. All right, stay in this ball, buddy. Oh, hey, he did. <laughs> that was easy. Nice. Huh, it'd be interesting to take a Mr. Mime along. I mean, Psychic types are good. Psychic Fairy types? Oh, baby. Uh, Heart Shocker wants to learn Slam. It's still a really bad move. Uh, no. Keep the old moves. You don't want to come on and slam. And welcome to the jam. Uh, let's see. Barrier Pokemon, 100. Yeah, you're about average. Always practicing its pantomime act. It makes enemies believe something exists that really doesn't. I see. Oh, trust me, Clefable is not pointless. Because, in fact, actually, we need to, uh... Oh, wait, I want to ride around on my big cat. But yeah, just... Running through with the Clefable chasing me is great. Alright, so let's see. Do you have a good nature or anything of the sort? Party! I mean, that's fine. Barrier, confusion, meditate, and double slap. It could be interesting. I don't know. Kind of like the Pokemon I have right now. Oh, this guy. <laughs> He's just determined, man. I'm the strongest among my friends! Sailor Yasu. 
a <laughs> slow poke. You're the strongest among your friends that you have slow poke. There's also like nothing I've been able to fight with my Growlithe. So disappointed. Um. Yeah, this looks like a job for Heart Shocker. <laughs> oh, she looks adorable. Okay, Zippy Zap! That was so fast. I didn't even see its hit point bar deplete. It just looked like it was gone. I, like, I looked over. Arg, my poop money to be stronger. Apparently. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Is there anything else? Did I fight this guy? Yeah. I didn't fight the other gamer over here, though. Or this guy. Ha ha ha! I've never lost! Alright, Sailor Dirk. Hollywag! So glad I got a fire type. I guess I'll use my Gloom. Oh, I wanted to name him something, didn't I? I think I wanted to name him Flume and Doom. Oh no! What is that? Don't do that to me. That's what I'm supposed to do with you. Do I have any idea how to Nuzlocke this game? I do. Don't. <laughs> I'm not even gonna think about it. Wait, I woke up? What? That was so fast. Yeah, I'm not even gonna think about doing Nuzlocke's on this. Like, it just does not seem friendly towards it at all. I just recommend don't even bother. The best way to Nuzlocke this game is to play a different game. Karate Chop. Oh my gosh, that really hurt. If only I had Intimidate. Ooh, there we go. Let's go, doggo! Uh, no, Rami. If you only were mostly play Nuzlocke, you probably wouldn't enjoy this game. My first loss. Indeed. Uh, let's see. Do I even want to use just like a healing item? What do I have for potions? I'm just gonna use a potion. There we go. Okay, I used two. Wasn't there another uh, gamer on this route? Or did they get rid of him? I raised my Pokemon carefully. They should be ready by now. Okay. What do you have? Jigglypuff. All right, finally something that I think this is uh, kind of effective against. At least reasonably so. I want to see what Ember looks like, though. I don't know. Didn't seem that bad. Laser Ember. Pew pew. All right, well, let's do Flamethrower. <laughs> Jeez, that looks so vicious. Oh, you have a neat arena, huh? I like how the level range of Pokemon in this area for trainers are like level, uh, nice crit. Level 16 to like level 26. It's like, wow, what a range. All right, let's finish it with Ember. <laughs> okay, I guess that's all right. 
It's kind of funny. Bye bye, thank you, and goodbye. All right. Oh wait, you know what? I should check that rock over there. There's probably something. Don't you think it's hard to think up good names for Pokemon? But then again, why not just try out new nicknames every day until you get it right? I mean, that's an interesting approach. If you're aiming to reach Lavender Town, go through the Rock Tunnel. You can get to the Rock Tunnel from Cerulean City. Oh, you're gonna be sad when you go there, like, well, how do I get... how do I get there? I want to head to Lavender Town, but there's this huge Pokemon in the way, sound asleep. Oh, well, too bad. Hi, oh, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's assistants. The professor told me if your Pokedex has good data on 30 species of Pokemon, I'm gonna give you the judge function. So, Marilyn, let me ask you. Have you gathered data on at least 30 species of Pokemon? Yeah, sure. Great! You've caught 34 species of Pokemon. Congratulations! Now let me update your Pokemon box. Hey, I got the judge function. Nice, that's really good. View a Pokemon summary via your Pokemon box and you'll be able to see their potential. Really now? Can I do it from the party, though? Alright, let's, uh... Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, let's go into the box. Oh, you can do Y for judge. Wow, perfect IVs! Okay. Uh, great stats. Oh, that's kind of neat. Good stats. Good stats. Not so good. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, wow. This thing's pretty good. Yeah, so it's like an IV checker. That's all right. Oh, <laughs> oh well. That's pretty fast. Oh, hey, your special attack's fantastic. Whoa, this Magikarp actually has really good stats. Uh, let's see. That's kind of cool. Like, just another function if you need to figure out which Pokemon to use. Because these are, like, their IVs. Wow, the Charmander's a beast. I just want to see. Oh, Squirtle's really good, too. Oh, so's Big Cat. Nice. Oh, you have really good speed. Not bad. All right. Uh, that was cool. That's definitely a very handy function. I do like that. I like that you can get it before the post-game, too. 